The next video in the IBID Plus bidding methodology series covers the different strategies that are used in the landscape industry to produce bids. The first strategy is the most elementary of all and is what we call the meter B competitors prices. This strategy is based on market conditions and what other competitors charge. Obviously, this is a dangerous strategy, which leads to failure, because what's good for one company may not work for another. The next strategy that we will look at is called the unit cost strategy. This may work in some situations. However, it ignores pricing based on scale. Also, it is difficult to account for things such as general conditions and it ignores the fact that every job is different. Here in this example, we look at a sod bid, where a unit price is based on 50 cents per square foot. With project A, 500 square feet is priced at $250. However, Mobilization costs and general costs to set up the project are not accounted for. Therefore, the actual job costs $300, producing a $50 loss. On the other side, Project B includes 50,000 square feet of sod, and if priced at 50 cents, will be $25,000. Well, this bid does not take in place or take into account the efficiencies that may be realized by doing a project at this grand of scale. Therefore, the competitor's price may be at $20,000 and you lose the job. The third strategy is cost times a factor. This is when a company applies a multiple to some type of cost. For example, they may take materials and use a factor of three. So the bid price is $10,000 multiplied by the factor of three, the job would be $30,000. Some business owners use this methodology because they believe that materials make up roughly a third of the project, labor covers a third of the project, and all other costs, profit and overhead, make up the other third. This is good to use as a sanity check when doing bids. However, it is not recommended because it ignores other factors such as labor and equipment. The fourth strategy is cost plus a fixed markup. Here, the company calculates overhead to be 40% of revenue. Then they apply a fixed markup to all costs, and then they add profit to get the desired result. This is another dangerous strategy, which we will explain in a further example. The last strategy is called risk based allocation strategy. This is when a business uses the components of the job, material, equipment, labor, overhead and profit, and subcontractors, and applies a different risk for each. For example, material being low risk is easy to calculate, and therefore should be marked up at a lower rate. Equipment, moderate risk, labor, high risk, with many variables, and subcontractors varying by task. These markups compensate for the different risks that are associated with the job. To see examples of these different bidding strategies, follow us in the next video, example two.